Example number one for elimination of arbitrary constants. So we have here y is equal to c sub 1 e raised to negative 3x plus c sub 2 e raised to 2x. Now, we have two arbitrary constants, c1 and c2. So therefore, we need to differentiate or get the derivative up to the second derivative because by rule, if you have two arbitrary constants, mean to say the uh, differential equation that you're looking for is in the second order. So let's go ahead. Let's write the equation first. y is equal to c1 e raised to negative 3x plus c2 e raised to 2x. That is our equation 1 actually. Use this as our equation 1. Equation 2 would be the first derivative. So we have negative 3c1 e raised to negative 3x plus 2c2 e raised to 2x. So this will now be our equation number 2. x y double prime is equal to sine c1 e raised to negative 3x plus 4c2 e raised to 2x. That is our equation number 3. So we will uh, combine equations 1, 2, and 3 in order to eliminate c1 and c2. So first we can eliminate c sub 1 if we will multiply 3 to equation 1 and combine it to equation 2. So multiplying 3 to equation 1 will produce 3y is equal to 3 c sub 1 e raised to negative 3x plus 3 c2 e raised to 2x. Our equation 2 is y prime is equal to negative 3 c1 e raised to negative 3x plus 2 c2 e raised to 2x. Combine the two equations. We can now cancel c sub 1. Okay. The, the resulting equation will be our uh, equation number 4. y prime plus 3y is equal to 5 c sub 2 e raised to 2x. So this is our equation number 4. So we need to produce another equation that has uh, that has no c sub 1 and combine it to equation 4 so that we now have uh, an equation which doesn't have an arbitrary constant. So we can uh, take equation 2 and equation 3 first. Uh, for equation 2, we can multiply 3. So so equation 2 now becomes 3 y prime is equal to negative 9 c sub 1 e raised to negative 3x plus 6 c sub 2 e raised to 2x. Combine that with our equation 3, y double prime is equal to 9 c sub 1 e raised to negative 3x plus 4 c sub 2 e raised to 2x. So again, add. We can now eliminate. And the resulting uh, equation now becomes y double prime plus 3y prime is equal to 10 c sub 2 e raised to 2x. Okay, this is now our equation number 5 which is free of c sub 1. So, our equation 4, as you can see here, it has a constant of 5. This is a constant of 10. So, we will simply multiply negative 2 to our equation number 4. So, if we multiply negative 2, it will yield 2y prime plus 2y prime plus 6y is equal to 
negative 10 C sub 2 E raised to 2 X okay so we multiply negative 2 so this should be negative as well okay so add so again this one cancels out and we now have y double prime combine the two y primes plus y prime minus 6y is equal to 0. This is now the differential equation which is a solution of y is equal to c sub 1 e raised to negative 3x plus c sub 2 e raised to 2x. So we are able now to eliminate the two arbitrary constants.